Hey guys. guys. Welcome back to the Dowdy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are hitting you live from Wednesday, April 19th at 8 58 p.m. We hope you guys are having a great and blessed day. Hope you guys have stayed safe. A good night. Hope you guys have a good night tonight. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, but they're watching night. this tomorrow. So I hope you have a good night tomorrow too. <laughs> um, we have an amazing episode today. So today I think it's going to be one of our most popular videos because it's such a like hot topic right now. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people want to know the drama, the tea, the inside scoop. And that's what we have this podcast for. Today we are on the Jaddle D podcast talking about the drama at Nelly's Quince. So we're going to talk about the whole event to you guys. So if you don't know, Nelly had a quinceañera on Saturday. Bro, we were so, getting so lit. That was the funnest party I've ever been to in my life. Hey, By the way. Mine was fun too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but that gave me the same vibes. I Your party Nelly's gave me the was, same vibes. No, Nelly's was better because it was more planned out because obviously like I knew about it. So I was able to kind of prep for it in a way of like I was able to get a party bus. I was able to kind of coordinate things. And also because we weren't the main characters. But I feel like when yeah. you're the main characters, you have to tend to every single table, all your cousins, right. family members, and everything like that. But we weren't. Yeah, you're right. That's another reason why it was better. Um, it was just better planned out, period. Because obviously, like, it was a bunch of people planning. Because for, like, my birthday, for example, it was just you planning it. So it yeah, was a yeah. lot on your plate. Um, and obviously, like, when it comes to party planning and stuff like that, like, there's a lot of stuff that, like, you didn't know um, and it was just your first party, but for this, it was like my mom planned the party, like we planned the fun stuff. Yeah, like Edith planned. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like it was already done and set because the last party I had to do everything. Bro. Yeah, it was like, all oh. you. It was you by yourself. So that's why th- this party came out better. I'm pretty I sure. I think so because everybody combined forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was really, really, really fun. So yeah, we had um, Nelly Skinse on Saturday that we're gonna get into and talk to you guys all about. But before um, we do get into that, we have a little something to tell you guys. We're extremely sad. I'm really sad to bring up this topic because it's like my baby girls are like the keys to my heart literally <sighs> something sad is going on tomorrow it's not sad i mean it is sad but it's not like nothing is wrong but ellie and Thea are getting spayed tomorrow i'm honestly nervous though because i know the doctor the cardiologist said that ellie can be put in um, under anesthesia but i don't yeah. know well so what happened was that we weren't going to spay ellie at all because our her cardiologist had told us if you don't know ellie has a heart condition so our her cardiologist had told us don't spay her because um basically like ellie's breathing is good so we weren't going to spay her but then last time they went that we went to her cardiologist and he, she had her six month from the last time she had been her cardiologist told us that she we should spay her because the consequences of not spaying your dog could outweigh the like chances of things going bad in the surgery yeah i know there's like if you don't spay your dog there's like a higher risk of them getting cancer or something in their their, um what is it reproductive system yeah and it's like it's just like i don't want to uh struggle with anything down the road at all i just want this to get over with and after this hopefully if god like has like a plan for us that's Um, the plan like for her to live as long as she can yeah i agree i feel like obviously like time is cut down a lot because of her breathing condition however like if we can prevent something else i'm going to do it Uh also like so i heard that dogs actually have pain during their periods and stuff like that i think they do because i that's why she's always laying down yeah you could tell her the energy's down it's like it's like you like how i see you have to lay down and get bed rest she does the same thing 30 days like Dog periods last 30 days. Like, it's not your typical <gasps> week. Like, yeah. So, and then that, and then another thing is that, like, because they're not fixed, we always have to worry whenever they go to, like, dog train and, like, the boardings and, like, all that stuff. Just there's always an extra fee or there's a risk of them getting pregnant, you exactly. know? Exactly. And that's my worst fear is for Ellie and Thea to get pregnant. Another thing is that Ellie <laughs> is, like, super, super aggressive when it comes to, like, male dogs coming on her. And so because Ellie hates when dogs come and, like, just try to sniff her and stuff like that, like... Do she hates it. So that creates issues because then she fights with dogs because they come and try to mount her. But Ellie doesn't want to be mounted, but because she's not fixed. I, I had a big thought of like a little Boston Terrier reproducing with Ellie, bro, and like babies. Dude, Ellie would bro. kill that fucking dog. Ellie no. hates it. She hates it. You see yeah, how she Ellie, Ellie's really defensive around that. Like she doesn't play with that either. And then no. the other day at the, at the vet we just took her to, she doesn't have, I mean, uh, Thea, like, Want, they didn't want anything to do with any other dogs when they're sniffing her like around that area. Also, Thea is super late to her period. She hasn't gotten it any time like recently. But have recently. you seen her thing? It's been puffed up for about a month and a half though. Yeah, I don't know. But okay, so we got her result. I didn't tell you this, but we got her result for her blood work and they said that they had, um, that they thought that they could be getting their periods really soon, but she's like, you guys should still like 
go, go through with the surgery. So, um, yeah. Wait, what happens if they do it while they're on the, like, right the same day they get the period? So, I, when I was fixing Malika, um, she was on her period. And I didn't know that's what it was. And when I took her, they sent her back. And oh. they were like, we can't spay her because apparently there's more of a chance of her bleeding more than she should bleed. Oh, yeah. With the surgery. Oh, okay, okay. So, we didn't get her spayed. But, yeah, I don't know. But they said that they were still not on their period, so that they were still good. I don't know, but we're going to find out tomorrow. Wait, it's like the weather. If they get the blood test, they could tell them when they get the period. You know how you could predict the weather? Can you predict the period? I think it's like their hormones are different. Oh, shoot. Oh, That's no. cool. Something along those lines. I don't remember what exactly she said, but something like that. <laughs> you need to get two on that. Get some blood work to see what happens. To know when I'm in my period? Mm -hmm. No, I have no, dude. Like, I'm already breaking out so much. Anyways, Nat has no lashes. Nat has no lashes? I'm sure you guys have noticed. Um, I love it, though. I love the look because it brightens up your eyes so much. Like, look at that. Yeah, you can see the color of my eyes. That's what I noticed on Nelly's, too. Remember when Nelly Dude, took yeah, off yeah, her yeah. lashes? Because I thought Nelly, like, had, like, colored eyes or whatever, but more hazel. But hers are, like, really colorful. They're, yeah. Yours are super, super green. Like, green with yellow in there. Yeah, Nelly's are, too. But because of the lashes, you can't really tell. So, I don't know how long it'll last without it. Well, Chantel just had her baby, so she can't yeah. do lashes, period. But. On your TikTok, I thought, like, a lot of people thought you had contacts. So did I. Like, it looks like you have contacts, but it's mm -hmm. just your normal eyes without the lashes. Your lashes, like, yeah. it's like a big old shadow on you. That's what it is, And yeah. it covers up the brightness. And it darkens your eyes because of that shadow. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so yeah, Ellie and Thea will be getting um, spayed tomorrow, which I'm really happy about just because they'll, they'll be a little bit more eased out. Also, we won't have diapers it, and... We, we won't have any guests coming over soon anyway, so... Yeah, it should be good. I told everyone, like, the house is off limits for, like, a week. <laughs> Dude, um, nah, it's, like, the most protective when it comes to the the, the uh, girls, bro. It's so For funny. real. My mom called me earlier. She's like, we're going over to your house tomorrow. Like, it was just because um, I think my mom and my grandma were coming. I was like, girl, no, you're not because, um, like, I don't want my dogs to get hyper, dude, because they could pop a stitch so easy. Like, I'm not dealing with that. Like, I want them to heal, and I want them to be in peace. I don't want any noise in the house. I don't want anything. I want the house to be super, super clean tomorrow. Yeah, I just wanted to go perfectly. Like, I don't want to deal with any inconvenience. I thought that when the girls get their the surgery, I thought they get, like, they're lazy. So even if they wanted to get hyper, they can't. They're just, like, lazy bones, you know? I'm sure they're going to be like that for the first two days. Oh, okay, okay. But then I feel like it might, like, they're going to get their energy back, you know? Nah, like knowing job, Ellie, was, Ellie, Ellie has the most energy, bro. bro. I was She's a target gonna... the day after my boob drop. So I think that's how they're going to want to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you it's did. it's painful, but you just want to be out. And I feel like that's how they're going to mm -hmm. be. So we're going to have to be taking care of them tomorrow. And then I'm sick. Dude, Again. Nat, Nat is sick. <laughs> I feel like you get sick every like third or fourth podcast. I think so. You've been too. sick on like three. Dude, I'm so sick and tired of it. So I woke up today and I just didn't feel like myself. Like I just fell off. My voice sounds different. I'm like boogies are like green and yellow. So that means that's I'm how, sick. That's how I know you're sick, 100%. And then, like, um, dude, I get home from the gym and I passed out on the couch. I never do that. I don't take naps. I love naps, but I don't do it because it wastes <laughs> like three hours. So many a day. hours. So I never do it, but last thing I remember is you coming in and you're like, I got you Dutch Bros. And I was like, you don't, I'm what? not getting up. Like, I couldn't. I had to put it in. The, did you drink it? Yes, I did drink it okay, afterwards. Okay. But I was like, I fell asleep for like three hours, I think. Yeah, I was gone for, for a bit. I took the, uh, the, what's it called, the banana mobile all day. Yeah, bro, I was so mad because I woke up and, and then I was like, oh, I had to film. My car wasn't here. And I was like, bruh. Suppose you can't take the mama whiskey. You can't take the mama whiskey? Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to hear that. Oh, oh my gosh. Bah, 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 bah. Jacob, bro, you're the reason my car never has gas. Who puts, who puts gas in there for you? Yeah, but every time I get it, it's like fuel low, fuel low. And then that's when I come in oh and then pump it in. <laughs> bro, I seen Edith was pumping gas the first time. Did bro, you see she hit the car bro. first? You see the circle print on the paint? I know, bro. <laughs> Bro, it's hella funny. That was so funny. Like, Edith does not then, drive, but and she's then starting. Pa's, and then Paz posted, he's like, bruh. I know. <laughs> but she's, I'm glad that she's starting to drive. Yeah. I'm glad she's starting to drive. Good for her. Like, I've been trying to convince her for years, bruh. And I feel like I'm so glad that her time has finally came where she's trying to get over that fear. I love an independent girly. <laughs> Babe, what if I didn't drive? It would be, would you I like feel it like, better? No, 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 no. I like how you're super independent. I feel like I, I would be like... Drain, bro. Drain them like taking me everywhere. Like I love you and everything, but I feel like I love you and everything, but not because of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why, like I'm, I'm, I look, I don't know. I feel like you're. I look up to you, okay. And then the reason of that is because you're so independent, and I think that's like a big reason. If you were not independent, I would be like, uh, what are you doing? What, uh, what's going on? Like go work type shit. No, yeah, the that. nicest way possible. That's what you're trying to say, right? That, which no, I get no, it. Not even that, but like. 
Like, I don't want to just drive you everywhere and yeah. then you can't drive alone, you know? Yeah. Like, that makes you, sense. If you have stuff to do, you go by yourself. Like, wake up in the morning, you do that. Mm-hmm. If I have stuff to do, I do that. But us, us going, like, together with, with all of that stuff, it wouldn't work. We I waste like. a lot of time, I feel. It wait, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, look it. I know there's some instances where you need me and you need me to drive you because you're, like, really tired or you don't want to do anything. Or I'm just, like, you're, I'm simply your boyfriend, bro, and I do that stuff. When you would ask me to go um, take you to the doctor. So, you had anesthesia. Remember when you had to get anesthesia or oh, under the Oh, yeah, the drugs? and then I couldn't drive. I remember that. Yeah, you couldn't drive. So that wasted a lot of time, but it's like, I, for, in theory, it wasted, it wasted a lot of time, but it really didn't. Like, it wasted no, it the did. whole day. It did, because you could have been here filming for your channel. Or editing, you know? Yeah, yeah, it wasted But it took, a, it took the whole day, and we woke up at 7, got back at like 6 p.m. Yeah. Or like little things that I'll be like, oh, like, let's go, or can you take me here? Which I don't do it yeah, often, you stopped, but. Yeah, you, you stopped doing it uh like a while back when you would ask me to go take you to the lashes, remember? Bro, because I used to be lashes obsessed. Was far. Yeah, my lashes used to be really far and like I would get really sleepy driving back so I'd get scared to fall asleep while I was driving. But then um, I was like, nah, because then you would have to do stuff and it was just kind of an incredible. Yeah, it's But really dude, far. it's amazing. Like relying on like someone else to do shit like that is so cool, but it gets old fast. It does. Like I like when you do it like because right now I haven't done it recently, but I, I'm waiting for like, can you take me to this place? I'm like, let's go, let's go. Yeah, it gets really old fast when like you rely on someone because I feel like at the beginning, right? Well, no, I've always been super, super independent. But um, like there were certain times where I was getting kind of really used to like you driving us places and like we'd be together all the time. And like I realized like we were not being productive. And then I also felt like I didn't have control of my life. Mm-hmm. And then right after that, I was like, nah, fuck that. So and I would wake up and leave because I, I do it now. Like I wake up and I leave and I don't get back to like four hours later. Three hours later. I just go to Starbucks, go to Target, go to the gym and then come back. I feel like a lot of girls who struggle with like them depending on their girlfriend if is because like they haven't tried it, you know, they haven't tried to go be out in the, um independent. I think that's what it is, yeah. Right? Because once you, you do it, it, once you do it, your man's gonna either have the fear of it or be be like a hundred percent for it. Oh, I feel like a lot of men are scared though because okay, here's Dude, the way yeah. I see it. Honestly, in the beginning, I was like, bro, she's going out like fuck. What, she, what if a guy hits on her or something <laughs> like that? That's how it was in the beginning. Yeah. But then I'm like. Nah, like she, it's better if she can go do it and say like, do whatever she needs to do. Then I have to like go with you and waste. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. Time like, for both of us, you know. It's kind of like, I feel like a lot of men are scared of that. Like, oh, she's going to go out and like, she's going to get hit on and this and this and that. But it's like, so you want to go there and be with her the whole time. And it's just a waste of time. Like two is always better than one, obviously. So if one person can stay here, like if Jake can be here and like clean the house or edit or go film for his channel and I can go film for my channels, edit or whatever it is. Now we're getting two things done. Like it's so much better that way. Yeah. hundred percent. It is so much better that way. I like, feel like that's where we really grew when we started like separating in our own ways. Yeah. I don't think we were ever super, super meshed together, but there were certain times when we oh, had to. Oh yeah. Like, there was in the beginning when I didn't know how to drive. Oh, yeah, and I had to drive you everywhere. Yeah, you see, that was, like, bad. But at the same time, we were, like, in our honeymoon stage, so it was, like, oh, I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and now you're in, like, I don't love you stage. No, no I I'm do, <laughs> but I just have to go out and do stuff. But I think my biggest advice for girls that are um, always with their man or, like, their man drives them around or, like, or vice versa or, like, you feel like you can't go out without your boyfriend, like, my biggest advice um, is just try it. Do it for one week. Every day for one week, separate, like, an hour at a time, right? Instead of you guys going to get coffee together, you go by yourself and get coffee. Listen to Bad Bunny on your way there. Um, you better el salad. Like literally, dun, dun, listen. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun. it'll get your mood up, I swear. Yeah. Like put some Bad Bunny, do a little TikTok of you getting ready to go get coffee, right? Whatever. And if you don't do social media, still do it. Just go out, get your coffee, come back. The next day, go to co- go get your coffee and go to Target to get Camp on or something. I but don't know. And the then, only thing I will say is the drives feel longer when you're alone. No, they don't. They feel better. It's for like, me, it's like vibing. for me, if they feel longer, because when we're we're in the car together, we're always talking about something. Oh, yeah, we're always like, mm-hmm. talking. I feel like that's why girls get so attached or men get so attached. It's just because when you're with someone, it's like, <gasps> like you're having conversations. Mm-hmm. Like it's cool. But being alone is also cool. Just put music, vibe. And then the next day, just on the last day, go on a little walk by yourself. Take your dog. I don't know. Take put your ear phones on whatever and it will trust me you're gonna like it it's really really fun and it's also like healthy it's healthy to get away from it is healthy super healthy it's healthy to learn to be independent it's really really healthy and i think it's amazing it's an amazing thing do you regret being independent or no you i feel like ever since you were born you guys had to be independent yeah we've always been independent super 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 well at least i've been yeah you super independent always like yeah since i can remember like i remember 
I would always go, especially like prior to meeting you when I was doing YouTube. I don't know if you guys remember this, but like back back in the. I day. remember when you would go to your after your like uh, what's it called your pool session. You would go to drive to Carl's Junior. You would yeah. go drive to Jack. Whatever. I just go drive and go to places, go to the mall. Even if I had nothing like no money to spend, I just go because like. It was just so fun. Yeah. You just go out on little adventures by yourself. Dude, and I would go on, like, adventures. Like, I'd go to malls that were, like, hours away, and I was, like, 15. I just wanted to be out, you know? I just <laughs> That's to, so cool, bro. I'd want, like, spending time with yourself is the best thing, and I feel like that really healed me. That started my healing era. <laughs> like, I swear. Dude, just playing music and vlogging. Because then when, like, you're in your healing area, and your healing era, and then you're being independent, it's like... Once you're healed, you're going to be an independent person. And like, you don't like have to rely on anybody else. And the next person yes. comes up, you know, I feel like a lot of people heal with someone else and then they depend on it. And it's, it's also, I feel like it's also turned on when you're, when you're like with someone and you don't have to rely on them. You could be independent. They could be independent. Like both of them could be independent, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. Like a couple that both yeah. are independent, but mm -hmm. they can also merge. Yeah. It's perfect. It's amazing. It's the best mix but try it let me know how you guys like it. also question how did you guys like sex life in the last episode we told you guys to watch it and a few people had told me you guys watched it and you really liked it um, dude that movie i mean that show is so crazy it is so good i actually posted a story today because um i had like this girl had told me that she had watched it and she had loved it <laughs> um oh my gosh look it girl i watched it all yesterday and let me tell you it was a whole bunch of emotions and feelings i really hope they come out with another season really liked the end the end it didn't really expect what she told him Wait, wait, wait. Did she watch season two? I don't think she did. Because oh, I'll watch when she finds out there's a season two. Yeah. But season two isn't as good. But, like, I, it's another season two of the whole show. Yeah. That's crazy. Guys, watch it. I, if you watch it, you'll understand why we're telling you to watch it. She said, I'm literally on the last episode. Damn, like, I love seeing his messages about that. Please Because in the it. first season, it's like the hype builds up. And then it's like, boom. Yeah, I think the first season's the best season. Yeah, Again, too. they fucked it up with the second one. But uh -huh. go watch it. Go watch it. Go it's watch definitely it. a good right. Good right now episode. we're trying to watch um what's that show? Everything everywhere all at once, but yeah. we haven't. We only watch like ten minutes a day, bro. Yeah, because we fall asleep. But Gabby recommended it to us, and we're still trying to finish it. But we just have. They text us every day. Did you finish it? Did you finish I it? We're like, hey, hey, mute my mic. I need to blow my nose. I'm go, like, go, go, go. Oh, <laughs> bro, Nat's been sick. Oh. oh man, I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad when Nat's sick <laughs> because it's like, damn, bro, you're you want to be so productive, but you can't because it's holding you back. Like, I can't like I just I feel so sick and editing when you're sick is the worst, bro, because you try to go out in public and edit. And you're just like, <laughs> you're, yeah, bro. And everybody's <laughs> looking at you, oh my bro, because coughing isn't normalized anymore. Mm -mm. Even sneezing, bro. I'm like, <laughs> and then someone's just like, I know, like I'm be looking side eyeing you the whole time. I know, dude, it's not normal anymore. Or having boogies isn't normal. I don't know. Why do you say boogies? It's boogers or moco. Boogers are the dry ones. You have a boogie. <laughs> oh, the, the, okay. Wait, booger, booger. A booger? Booger tea. Yeah, you have a booger. Okay, don't be lucky. <laughs> All right, then take it out then. Uh, only pay per view. Nasty. Nah. They got to pay for that, huh? Yeah. For the exclusive <laughs> content. Okay, so yeah. So basically, our girls are getting spayed tomorrow. We're super, super anxious seeing the results. I'm excited. I'm really excited for them to finally I'm, live a peaceful hey, life <laughs> yeah yeah for real one one like less pain away yeah i'm really happy for them but okay so let's talk about um nilai's 15 let's get into it um so let's get started with the week building up to it you want to start with the week building up to it yeah i think we should start with that go ahead so the week building up to it so we had gone to palm springs that weekend like the weekend before that um and we were still literally got home and like didn't unpack till like wednesday so now we have like two days till the 15 and so i uh, when was it on thursday on thursday we're trying to get all our shit done he goes and gets a haircut facial like i'm trying to get all my life together because we were supposed to have guests the next day at 12 like at 12 like uh is it we, yeah, we literally flipped the house around. Yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, Angie's going to land at 12 tomorrow, so we only have like a few hours in the morning. <laughs> I need to tell him this part. Don't laugh at me, okay? Please don't laugh. Oh. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Angie's going to land at 12. So And I had a nail appointment at 9. So I was like, damn it, like I need to have the house ready before 9. That way, like when Angie lands, the house is clean. <laughs> so whatever, I wake up late as fuck, so the house wasn't fully clean, actually. And I had to go to get my nails done. And um, my nail tech, actually, she's super, super sweet. Um, her name was Valeria. She came over to my parents' house, and she was doing all of our nails. And so it turns like... So I thought Angie was going to land at 11.30. I was like, so by 12, it'll be perfect. Like, we, I need to be at the airport at 
that time. So I'm calling Jake, like, hey, Jake, make sure that the kitchen's clean, make sure the garage is clean, da, 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 right? Like, make sure they're better land. And I wasn't going to be done with my nails on time. So I was like, Jake, you're going to have to go pick them up from the airport. I'll meet you guys there right after. Like, I'm I was stressing. here busting my ass, like, <laughs> dude, like cleaning, like, it was bad, right? And so then Jake text calls me. He goes, bro, she's not landing till midnight. And I'm like, no, she's landing at 12, like, right now. And he goes, no, it's 12 at night. <laughs> in the morning, in the morning, 12 in the morning. 12 in the morning, whatever. <laughs> so, dude, it was like a, oh, like, I breathe. For bro. you, it was like that. For me, I was like, like, bro, my face just like, was like this, like, like. <laughs> because I was cleaning the garage, the kitchen, upstairs, their room, vacuuming, everything. Not you and the cleaning day before, for the first time. And the day before, we hired a cleaner to clean up the carpets and everything. Oh, Bruh. yeah, because Ellie and Thea were just shitting and pooping in the carpets. I don't know what was going on with them. But, yeah, we hired this carpet cleaner to come, like, suck everything out. Oh, my gosh. But, no, it worked out because then we had a little more time to do more stuff around the house, prep the house. And, yeah, Angie did end up landing at midnight. But, oh, my gosh, that was a whole thing. And, like, thankfully, Jake didn't go to the airport because that would have been even more bad. But I feel like even when they landed at midnight, we were still rushing to clean the house. We had to wash all the blankets, get oh the gosh. air mattresses and everything. Remember, We just leave everything till last minute. So we're the issue in this situation. We are. We're the issue in every situation. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't fix it. We're always the issue. That same night. I get a call from the party bus because we had changed the door. Oh my gosh, because, oh my gosh, this is what it is. So on Friday night, we go to the um, hall because we're trying to prep everything. We're trying to take all the centerpieces, like everything. We're like, we're trying to prep for this 15, right? Like we had to make sure that this 15 is perfect. So I go to my parents' house. We load up the GLE with like a bunch of centerpieces. The cruise is loaded. Pause and needed cars loaded. Like we are trying to take all the stuff, right? And so we show up to the hall and Nellie and her court are there because they're like rehearsing for like their quince dance. And so everybody, sorry, everybody's helping. You didn't go for this. No, I was editing. Remember? Yeah, you didn't go for it. I was doing something. I don't remember. Um, and so I'm up there trying to help everything get like situated and stuff like Nellie and her court are stressing like the instructors stressing. Like, were they not getting the dances right? They kept fucking up. But it, it, I mean, I think they were just nervous. So everybody's stressing, right? Everybody's trying to get shit done. And then it came time to like pick the time that we were going to do the quote unquote entrance. But I had already told my mom, I was like, I'm not doing the entrance because it's not my 15. So I don't like, that's not my, I just didn't need to be in the entrance because it wasn't my 15. You know, mm -hmm. what? that's what I was trying to get my mom to understand. And like for my entrance, I was the only one who entered. It was me and the banda. And that was it. Like there was nobody else. So my mom was like, no, like, um, like you guys can go in it too. And like the padrinos and everything. I was like, but like, we're not, I don't know. I was like, it's just not my 15. So I don't think that I need to be good. Like, do a formal entrance, right? So, anyways, we had already agreed that I wasn't going to do an entrance because, like, like, weeks prior. So, we show up to the hall, and then um, they were like, oh, you guys are going to do the entrance, so be here at, I think they said, like, 4.30. Or we're going to do the entrance at 4.30. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be in the entrance. You know, my party bus is going to pick me up at my house at 4.30, and then I'll be at the hall at, like, 5.30. And so my dad was like, no, like, da, da 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 you have to be in the entrance and all this and that. I was like, okay, if you guys wait till 545, I'll be in it, I guess. <laughs> and then, which I was still, I don't know. I just feel like the entrance should be all about Nelly, you know? Like, I feel like that should have been, like, Nelly. Plus, they, never mind, go, go, keep going, keep going. I'll say plus they messed up on people's in the, in the oh, entrance Oh, okay, anyway, okay, so. hold up, hold up. Let, we'll get to that. So then, um, they're like, no, I was like, if you guys wait till 545, I'll do it. And so Nellie's like, no, we're doing the entrance at 430. And I was like, okay, like you guys do the entrance at 430. But here's the thing, like an entrance is basically like where um, the court is announced and like the parents are like. What if they don't know what the court is? The court is the damas and the chamalanes. It's the people that go and dance with you. So there's like a middle and they're like four it's corners. Like bridesmaids. Yeah, bridesmaids for pretty 15s. much. For 15s. And so um, it's basically where the announcer announces the names of, usually it's like the parents and then the parents walk in the quinceañera and then the court is behind them. Or sometimes the court doesn't enter, but it just depends. So that's usually what an entrance is. So when they do that, the whole point is for everybody at the party to know who everybody is. And it usually leads to the beginning of the dance. Um, so that's what they were going to do. They were going to do the entrance and then the dances. But here's where shit didn't add up. So I told Nelly, I was like, Nelly, how are you going to do an entrance at 430 if you invited people at 5? Oh, or she might have invited people at 430. But I was like, you can't do an entrance when there's not no people yeah, there. Yeah, nobody's going to be there at 430, right when the party starts. Exactly. So that's what I was trying to get Nelly to understand. I was like, 
Nelly, I was like, I don't have to be in it, but like, don't do it at 430 because if you do it at 430, nobody's going to be there. Plus, you had experience because you've had two quinces that you've yeah. been to, like one you've been to and then one that you were in. And this is funny, though, because I had this same conversation with my parents when it was my 15. I was like, no, like, I want my entrance to be like my and like I. Basically, what Nelly was trying to get them to do was her entrance be from when she landed from the party bus. She wanted to, like, formally be introduced to the hall, like, as she entered. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So I get it because I was the same way. But I didn't understand that people weren't going to get there unless you got there super fucking late. There was no way to do that. Yeah. Right? Which would be pointless because why is everyone going to be waiting X amount of time for, for an entrance? For when it's like, yeah, exactly, right? So I was like, if you do it at 430... Like, nobody's going to be there, so they're, they're not, they're doing an entrance for nobody, basically. Like, they're just, you're yeah. just walking in, <laughs> and then you're going to do a dance for who? Nobody's going to be there. <laughs> if you invite people at 430, you try to do your entrance, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that? yeah. So I was like, Nelly, do it a little later, but Nelly was getting upset, and everybody was just really, like, stressed out, I feel. Dude, yeah, the, the vibes were like, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I got to get this done, I got to get this done, I got to get yeah. rushing everywhere and everything. Bro, but we are chilling. Yeah, well, no, this was the, the day before. Oh, sorry, sorry. This was on the, the Friday night, right, when the oh, rehearsals yeah. are happening. Okay, okay. So everybody's tense, everybody's stressing, everybody's trying to figure shit out. Um, I guess, like, the songs weren't given to the DJ, so, like, they're trying to figure out what songs to give. Dude, it was, like, Bruh. scrambling, right? It was scrambling. And, like, I feel like Nelly had a lot on her plate. Like, she, it, when it's the day before you're 15, you are scrambling. Yeah. Yeah. You are stressed. You are scared. Like, especially when stuff's not aligned. Exactly. So I feel like she was just really stressed out and stuff. So like anything that we told her, she would get more stressed out. Mm. Because so I, like, I feel I'm, like in that situation, she thought she was writing everything she and she knew everything she wanted to do. Yeah. Cause I feel like when you're so stressed out like that, you're so scared of things going wrong that um, like anything anyone tells you, it's kind of like, you know, like you're just so stressed <laughs> out. So I feel like that's how Nelly was. So I was like, I'm not gonna say anything anymore because I feel like she's getting more stressed out. Um, so then the instructor had said like, um, Nat's idea is good. No, <laughs> no, it's okay. Anyways. So, um, I was like, my dad was telling her like, Nelly, you guys have to do it after five. So at least you have half an hour of people to show up. And y'all know how Mexican people are. You guys know how we are. We're we run as late fuck. as hell. We're bro. late as fuck. So usually like an hour after your invite time is usually like good rule of thumb of when you can start doing your dances. Even that is kind of early. Mm -hmm. Because if you invite at 430, I think ideally the dances are good to start at six. I would say that's a good timing. And then also food ended at six. So that's even better because that's how you know people are going to be there. Because the food ended. Oh, so for, for like inside your food first and then the dance? Or what is it? Well, or it depends. could be both. But like. You just want there to be people. Oh, okay. I get so you. people usually get there between the food period. You know what you should do? You should put like, it opens at four, food at 415. So everyone's like, all right, I'm going to rush to get no, the food. No, I think my mom invited. At, I actually, have, I don't want to lie, but I think my mom invited at 430 and food started at 430. Oh, that's like, so smart. Yeah. I think that that's how they did it. Like just so people wouldn't run too late mm -hmm. and um, just to. It's I, like a formal way of saying get there, get there as soon as it opens. Get there on time. Yeah. Look, I'm going to give you guys the exact. Is it worth it? Is oh no, they made it at four. And when did the food start? At five. Oh, yeah. So, okay, no, never mind. So, they invited at four and then the food started at five. So, the food wasn't even even more of a chance here. <laughs> so, if the food starts at five and let's say it ends at like seven ish, you want to do the dance maybe like at six, just so it's like in the middle because you know people aren't gonna arrive at fucking four. You know damn well nobody's arriving at four. Everyone's gonna arrive at five when the food's there. <laughs> five thirty. <laughs> right? So um yeah everything just had to be like aligned and be perfect. So my dad was telling Nelly to do them at like five thirty. Like if you do the entrance at five thirty, you could start the dance. Cause the entrance took us what? Ten minutes, five minutes? Five minutes, bro. Tops. All that stressing for five minutes. Tops. And so after that, then they started the dance. So, and then the dances are like, what, like two minutes? Because mm -hmm. the song is like three minutes. So let's say three minutes and they remix it. So four or whatever. And then from there, that was it. <laughs> they remix it. <laughs> you know how they add yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't even think the song is remixed, but whatever. My point still stands. So after that, then they did what? Father, daughter dance and then mother, daughter dance. Okay. Add another six minutes. So in total, that whole thing took about. 15. No, 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 no. Mother and daughter dance weren't there. That's after. That's like when the no, surprise happened. No, she had her dress no? on, no? No, 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 because that's when she started, like... Oh, my gosh, that was another thing. Okay, that's later, later in this episode. Okay, good, good. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Okay, so, yeah, anyways, <laughs> the whole thing didn't take that long. So, that was the point that we were trying to get across, was that if you start your dances at 4.30, you're going to be done before 5, and the food's not even going to start, nobody's going to be there. So, that's why I was telling Nelly, I was like, start at 5.30, 5.45-ish, 
and then it's perfect. Anyways, um, I just ended, we ended up leaving from there. Everybody was super stressed and everybody needed to sleep. Like Nelly and my mom was going to wake up at five. Like we needed to wake up. Not that early. To be honest, we were chilling as fuck. We were chilling. We were chilling as fuck. And um, so people needed to go to sleep. So anyways, everybody goes home. Dude, I'm so surprised the court stayed there. All the night? Dude, they stayed. The court stayed at the hall re- like rehearsing till like 10. Whoa. Like my mom would have beat my ass if I stayed that late. Like they're so cool. Like, she shout had out cool to people. Nelly's she court. had cool people in the court there. Yeah, shout out to Nelly's court. Like they really pulled through. Yeah, my mom would have been calling me like every ten seconds. Like, how come you're coming home so late? How come you're there so long? And they're, keep in mind, they're 14, 15 years old. That's crazy. They're little kids, so that's Mommy crazy. Nice. I know when we were young. I miss it sometimes. You miss being young, like sometimes. that adrenaline of getting caught. You know. Yeah, dude, to be honest, but I lived with that. To be honest, it wasn't even adrenaline. It was just fear at that point. It, it, it started as adrenaline, but it turns into fear. Yeah, because when you do it so often, it's not even funny. Anyways, <laughs> continuing. So we come home, we pick up Angie, and then we go to bed. We go to Kane's at like fucking 12. 1 a.m. Oh, my gosh. And then we come home and we go to sleep. Next morning, we wake up. We wake up, we do our get, get ready routine, you know. I'm like... I picked out my outfit the day before, so I wake up. I wake up late because I'm like, all right, I don't got nothing to do. But I hear now recording or get ready with me. I'm like, damn, I got to film. So I'm getting up, get my tux on. We go on a TikTok live. Wait, when did you get your tux again? Repeat it for the class. <laughs> I got my tux the day before because it was custom order. It had to fit me perfectly. I'm a tall, Cap. tall and handsome Cap. king. <laughs> he didn't have... Jacob, Ricardo, and Edgar... Did not oh. have their outfits on Friday night. Bro, I hope everybody we were knows on this. vacation. We were on vacation Jacob, the day bef- we two days before. We got home on Monday. When was the 15th? Saturday. You had a week. God. Anyways, point. They're all, okay, whatever. Keep going. Okay, so yeah, I get ready. I hear Nat. So we hop on TikTok Live as we're getting ready. Bro, that TikTok Live was popping. Now I have like so many people in there. So if you're not. Wait, you're missing so many steps, babe. What steps? Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys. Sorry. So. When we wake up, we get ready, right? Uh-huh. Um, we're getting ready, and my makeup artist was supposed to get here at nine. Oh, I totally forgot about your makeup artist. Yeah, oh, you're missing shoot. so many steps here. So, um, my makeup artist was supposed to get here at nine. Your MUA. But I didn't my, <laughs> but I didn't know she was gonna come. And like, uh, another thing was that like the night before she had told me that she doesn't do hair, so I was like, I'm so screwed. Like nobody's doing my hair. I'm. I was just so screwed. So I had texted my. That night, I had texted her, like, Inspo photos, and she hadn't answered me, dude. So I was stressing out. Yeah, was she like, was lagging. So I was like, oh, my gosh, maybe she's not going to come. So I'm just stressing out. And then, like, she sends me a message, like, maybe 10 minutes before 9. She's like, I think she said, like, almost there. Something like that. No, she said, on my way. On my way. Oh, she said, on my way. And I was like, oh, my gosh, thank. Dude, I was stressing. Because that's, like, the confirmation that she is coming. Because if, if she didn't get that, like, text, bro, you would have been like, we were stressing my all out. We were stressing and like, oh my God, it was this whole, oh shit, sorry. It was this whole thing. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like this lady's not gonna show up. She shows up. <laughs> Dude, perfect. She so, shows up and then we come and we do my makeup and you guys head to Dutch Bros. We go to Dutch Bros. We start filming. Bro, Chewy and Angie together are the funniest people ever. It's like, I don't want to say dumb and dumber because that's like a bad uh, connotation. But like, you know how like the, like it's best friends, right? So they're best friends and they're funny. Julie is like his hype, uh, is like Angie's, Angie's hype, hype man. man. Bro, he's like. Dude, Julie's then, so funny. And then Angie has funny ass jokes, bruh. So in Dutch, in Dutch, uh, Dutch Bros, what's it called? They take your order by like one person. Is in, it's like the waitress, I guess, of the drive through And they're going one car and then they go on the opposite side. One car, one car, one car. So they go to the car in front of us and then there's two lanes. So we're in the left lane. There's a right lane. They go to the, she takes the order for the person in front of this, in front of us. And when she walks over to the second car in the next lane, Julie's like. Uh uh-uh. uh, what the like? Yeah, he, he, he's gonna hop out. He hops out like joking around. He goes like, opens the door, and I was dying. I was dude, like, no, 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 because he hasn't been to Dutch Bros. Apparently, dude, yeah. it was just the funniest thing. We get the we get. Oh, we forgot Nat's drink, so we we get our order. Uh, it was two two drinks in total. So me, no, three drinks in total. Me, Angie, and Chewy, we're driving back home. We're almost halfway there, and I I'm like, I fucking hate you guys. I saw you guys were coming back right now. I was like, oh my gosh, they're coming. I'm like, bro, what are we missing? Something was wrong. And I don't. I look at the uh, cup holders with three drinks, and I'm like. Oh, we forgot Nat's drink. You're missing the part that you guys spent one hour in line. Oh my, bro, Dutch, but everyone knows Dutch Bros lines are crazy. One hour in line to get the first Dutch Bros that he didn't get my drink in, so they had to go back. <laughs> and bro, the line when we got back was even longer, but. Oh my God. <laughs> and after that, we got Pollo Loco. Okay, so we ended up getting Nat's drink, got food, come back, and Nat's already done with her makeup. Dude, they were gone for like almost three hours. We were gone for so long. Like, just wasting time. Wasting fucking time. <laughs> like, because she forgot my fucking order. Yeah, if I wouldn't have forgot your order, we, I would have been here like an hour and a half later, Earlier. Yeah, we did go there for you, honestly. 
But I feel like I'm addicted now. I'm, I get the Dutch soda every time, bro. But he was he tried lying to me because what, I had seen that they had left Dutch already, right? Because <laughs> you have my location and yeah. you check it every time. And I checked it. I was like, dude, because they're taking so long. I was like, what's going on? So, you know, I checked and they had already left. And I was like, oh, perfect. They're coming. They should be here soon. And then she sees that on her map. I'm on the opposite side, dude, up a little more. <laughs> dude, I came back. No, so like, I think 10 minutes after that, I check him again. I'm like, oh, he's almost here. Dude, tell me why he's back at Dutch. <laughs> so I text him and I'm like, where you at? And he goes, oh, I'm at Pollo Loco. And there is a Pollo Loco right next door. So I was like, huh. But Angie had posted on her story that you guys had drinks, but my drink wasn't there. So I was like, no, she snitched. So I was like, Jake, did you get my drink? And he said, yeah. And I was like, send me a picture of my drink. And he didn't answer. <laughs> he didn't answer me. And then he's like, okay, let me tell you the truth. So we came back because I forgot your drink. <laughs> you tried to lie to me, Jacob. Bro, it's because I didn't want you to like, of course you did, Jacob. <laughs> like, it, it's just Jacob's shit to do. Like, that is a Jacob activity. So that's why they took so long. So by the time they got back, like, my makeup was done already. Like, the lady had finished all my makeup, and I looked like a bad bitch. Dude, your makeup was on point. Yeah, she did a really, really good job. And then from there, we start getting ready. Yeah, we go on the live that Jacob was talking about. Dude, that live was so popping. We were just, like, we were messing around with each other. Like, snipe, snipe, snipe. Dude, like, joking so around with that. If you watch our lives, you know what we're talking about. But we're the funniest people on live because we're not TikTokers. You know, I got yeah. the, the TikTokers are, like, battling all the time. We're not that. Yeah. So we just clown on everything like that. So we had, how many viewers were there? Dude, there, there was, was so like many 20, people. 20,000 viewers on there. There was 20,000 people in there. And we were just, oh, by the way, I had to get ready, like, it was what, like almost three o'clock, and we had the uh, the bus. Jake, looking. Jake, it was twelve. <laughs> no, remember at the end when we had to be ready at? Oh, we had to go to the park. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we had to go to the park at one. We had to go to the park 12. at one, so it was twelve, and it was like twelve forty, twelve forty five, and we had to be at the park at one. Take Nelly's like Kinsa pictures. Mm -hmm. Dude, I wasn't even ready. I was still wearing my bummy clothes. I woke up with, and I'm like, uh, I hear now over here uh, over talking like some like we have to be there at one. It's twelve forty five. I'm like, oh shoot, I am not even ready. And she's in the bathroom on live. But in the bathroom is a big old shower, and the other shower in our house was like taken by Angie. So I'm like, uh, can you just go over there to get, to get, uh, to get so I can like, take a shower? I was showering while there was a live going on, like two feet away. But you showered boxers. Yeah, I showered in boxers just in case. I put a towel on the on the glass door, and I put uh, boxers on. I put like pants covering yeah. everything, you know. I know people were screen recording that shit. They were waiting. I Dude, like if your camera flipped, it would have reflected off the mirror showing me. Yeah, so I told them, I was like, nah, nah, we're boxers. Uh, but I just didn't want to hop off live because we were having a lot of fun on there. It so was super was fun. Like, Dude, that was a fun. We should do live more often. Yeah, we should do lives more often. They're kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we end up scrambling after I get out of the shower. She's already off live. I get ready, put my tux on, bro. We looked fresh, film some TikToks. Mm -hmm. Dude, taking the girls, packing the girls, getting them ready and everything. We The moment we head to the park, we're rushing there because we're already late. We're like an hour late, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So it was like 2.45, 2 I don't know, 2.30, okay, 2 do not exaggerate. It was 1.30 when we were heading out. And we got to the park at almost 2. But. Oh, my bad. I was one hour The off. party, but. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. The party, but like Nelly, they were late too. So like all of them were late, which made us not late. Like when they got there, we got there like 10 minutes after. Mm -hmm. So it was perfect. Like it worked out that way. And it's a park full of like animals, like ducks and stuff. So once the girls got out, all you see is, who is it? Ellie or Thea? It was Ellie. She chased after Ellie goes and sees a, she sees a duck. She goes, Dew. yeah. So we had we took the girls right, and then um we had took them off leash because they have their e colors. And so Ellie chased the duck, and then we were trying to get them to take photos with Nelly. It was a huge thing. Everyone was scrambling, and then like Nelly was kind of upset at the part at the yeah what the park con huh? yeah Nelly was she upset. Was stressed. Nelly was really really stressed out. And so she told me why she was mad. You want me to tell you why? I don't know why. So Nelly was mad because she said that her party bus wasn't like oh. A. Bro, yeah, it wasn't. I wish I could put the video. I don't know if Nelly's going to want me to put this on here. I'm not going to put it. But Put it. Jaddle T podcast. Nah, I'm not going to put it because I don't know if Nelly wants me to put it. But so. Think of it as like your quinta party where you're a 12th. No, you're in. Uh, what is it? 12 years old and a bus full of little kids with a phone. 14 and 15. But with a phone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's even worse. So 14 year olds <laughs> that on their phones. They're just looking at their phones in the party bus just like this. But babe, I don't know. With what music you, playing. Okay, but I don't know what you guys expected. There are a bunch of little kids. One. Bro, when I was a little kid, I was like. Mm, I agree. I agree. But but it was little kids. And then it was like different groups. So it was like her court. And it was my cousins. And then it was like Tito. And so it was a bunch also, of different groups. I, I think it was a big thing because your dad was in the bus That's too. That's live. So yeah, she had told me. She had, well, she told us that day. No, no, no. That day she was really mad. She wasn't talking to us. But um she we i hung out there yesterday and i was like nelly why were you so mad at the park and she was like it's because my court wasn't lit in the, in the i would be mad as fuck too to be honest wait was your party bus lit or no 
Yes, it was, but it's just because I had older people in my. Um, oh, you did. Set. You had like seniors and stuff. Yeah. Oh. No, they weren't seniors. They were like graduated. So. Oh, that makes more sense. They were older. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, with the party bus full, a little bit like of 15 kids, like 14 year old kids, 15. Like, there's only so lit it can get unless you have like your cousins in there that are a little older. But Nelly was just like her, her court, my cousins. You know what I mean, dude? <laughs> when your when your dad showed you the video of the of the bus, I was like. Yeah. In a way. And that inspired me to get as lit as I can for our party bus. Yeah. Which in the video that you guys are going to watch soon, you're going to see what we, what's going on in our yeah. party bus, bro. Yeah, that shit was crazy I'm as so fuck. hyped for that video because we don't know what it looks like yet. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Nelly was mad as fuck at the park. Um, I remember going up to take pictures with her and stuff and hug her, and she was just like, she was smiling for the party. This is literally Nelly. She was like, all quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at that time, I was like, oh, she's probably really stressed. And I, yeah, dude, yeah. she was probably stressed, hungry. Like, you guys know how it is for a 15. If you guys had a 15, you know how it is. So I was like, she's probably like hating her dress, hating her heels. Like, her hair probably hurts. By the way, she hurts. also woke up probably like at 5 a.m. and everything. She did. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, tired as hell. So I was like, oh my goodness, this girl's probably all tired. So um, we took photos with her and then we did TikTok. And I was like, let's go because um, she looked a little mad. Uh-huh. And then. Um, we go to her party bus to fuck around, and then I look inside the party bus. Dude, it's like crickets, like yeah, it was crickets. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna head out. So I get off the party, and dude, me and Jake are like, why well, you weren't happy? You were kind of stressed out too because of yeah. the girls. Mm-hmm. So Jake was being a grouch too. So then, and I'm just, I was happy to be alive. Like I don't know, it was so fun. Like I wanted Ellie to have a really good time. So I go inside the party bus, and I'm like, hey guys, and then they're like. Crickets again, <laughs> <laughs> bro. So then I like get off of the party bus, and then Nelly and her um, main were coming because they were doing like a video or whatever and so they're coming in and i was like no lie i'm gonna go in your party bus and she was like i don't remember what she said she was like she, no i think that's what she said <laughs> and then she went in the party bus and like i know she was mad i was like all right i'm not playing no more it's our time to go back yeah home. And i was like okay she's like really stressed out so then um we ended up leaving and then we came back but to it was house. late we left like it was like a an 3:30. hour later yeah yeah we were there for like an hour and then we left at 3 30 we came back here so from their party bus they went to eat i believe eat and like starbucks or something else um which nelly did confirm to me that on their way to the hall they it was lit. better oh okay yeah. but, but, but that's as long as that happens because like you have to pregame before the actual party you know yeah so i think that so she said that they put her type of music on the way to the hall. So I guess oh, that it got Oh, because on the first time, the music that was playing was like Shoreline Mafia. Yeah. I'm about to now, but and Nelly no doesn't major. listen to that music. Yeah, like, I guess neither you. do I. So, yeah, she's like, that on the way back, like, I guess they were listening to music. She was a lot better. What so, do you listen to? Huh? Yo, 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 yo. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, stop, for real. And then, whatever. So they go back to the hall but we came over here so while they went out to eat we could have totally gone out to no we couldn't have we were too busy mm-hmm. so we came back to the house because the party bus would arrive at our house at 4 30 so we needed to make sure that everything was ready to go inside of the party bus at 4 30 so we had one hour exactly i believe angie was getting ready like she was finishing up her makeup um chewy i think was ready already and we were waiting on jake's family to show up them and our filmer oh yeah our filmer, so we did have to hire a videographer. Dude, okay, so our videographer, he lives in a far like city, so he ended up coming over here. It was like a forty minute drive, but he ended up getting here a little late, so he had to be at the venue because that's where I was going to pick him up at four o'clock. I left here at like three forty five to go to the venue, and when I was at the venue, I got there around four o'clock, and I'm like waiting. I'm texting him. He's like 15, 10 minutes, uh, twenty minutes, bro. I'm like, all right, bet, 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 bet. It's like four. Once once he said twenty minutes, it was like in twenty minutes it'll be four. You know, so I'm waiting for him. 410, 415, 420, 425. And he's like five minutes away, bro. And it was like 10 minutes away. He was doing, he was popping a you. You know how when you're like, right, I'm 10 minutes away, but you're like 25 minutes away. I'm like, no. Yeah. Oh, shoot, sorry. Uh, so when he says that, I'm like, I bet. He's around the corner. And then I'm with Rango at, at the time. Oh, because Rango had already arrived. Yeah, Rango arrived right when he I right when I left. Uh-huh. Yeah. He, so when we're waiting, I'm like, all right, 427. He pulls up. He already knows like he's in uh, we're in a rush, so he's like, uh, Hold on, let me grab my things real quick. So he grabs his things, hops in the AMG. Bro, we're dooming. We're just like, new. we book traffic. it back to the house. There's and at traffic. this time, at this time, it's around 4, it's 4.30. And the party bus had already arrived at the so the guy, house. Dude, the guy calls me at like 3.58. He goes, 
hey, I think I'm here, but no I don't way. really know. It looks like I'm at my garages. And I was like, let me check. So I look out the window and yeah, he's, he's already there? here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, bet, bet. Like park like on the side of the fence or whatever. I just wanted to not, not get that much of our area. So I was like, park in the corner or whatever. And yeah, so he was here half an hour early. No so way, bro. Everybody's half an hour, 45 minutes late and he's half an hour early. So keep that in mind, okay? So then Gianna and, like, everybody gets here. Gianna, Bert, Jason, Joel, like, they all get here in one car. And they got here, like, I think, like, at 425-ish. So Joel's dumbass doesn't have his shirt on. So he runs inside, <laughs> puts his shirt on, everything gets everything Oh, Rango's ready. not changed either. Rango's not changed. So, so and Rango's like, with me. <laughs> so um, everybody gets their stuff ready. And then we pull out the bottles and, like, all that stuff. And then we're like, all right, bet we're going to go. Like, we're going to go to the party bus. So I'm calling Jake, like, Jake, where you at? Like, Jake, where you? Because you guys remember that Nelly, well, we didn't, I thought that we weren't going to be in the entrance because remember how Nelly wanted to enter like at, at 4.30? 4:30. So I wasn't even tripping about that, but I didn't want to get to the hall too late. I was like, my goal is to get to the hall before 6. Like that was the goal. And that's still like a But little. these assholes weren't even here by the time we were supposed to leave. So it's like 4.30 and Jake's nowhere to be found. Jake ended up getting here to like 4.50-ish. Yeah, it was around 4.50. So that's 20 minutes late. 20 but, minutes wasted. But I get here and Rango still is um, not dressed. So he still has to change. The filmer, I don't know. It was just going crazy. But bro... Now I had a big old bottle, right? No, 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 no. Don't jump to that, bro. You be jumping Sorry, too much. I'm just excited to hear that. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. So Jake's not here, right? And I decided to check his, I checked the location and he was five minutes away. So I was like, all right, we're going to start walking to the party bus. <laughs> so we start, everybody starts walking to the party bus. Um, and then we had took the bottle. We had one huge Casamigos bottle, like big, big. And then we started walking it all over there, right? I had left the girls here and I was like, all right, we're going to head out. So when Jake gets here, he parks the AMG and we head out, right? So I go, I set up the tripod. I have everything ready for the entrance shots. <laughs> so I'm waiting for Jake. I'm waiting for Jake. And Jake pulls up, right? He and I'm speeding here. at the time. Jake pulls up and Rango had ran off to go get dressed, yeah. right? Uh-huh. So Rango runs to go get dressed, but Jake had brought the AMG to where the party bus was at because the party bus wasn't where our house was at. It was kind of like down the street-ish. So um, Jake had took the AMG just to kind of, I don't know, to be a little show off with the AMG. So he took it. No, thankfully, okay. I, thankfully. I, I took it to show uh, or to drop off the filmer to get B-rolls of the, of the bus. Oh, which he did. He got off and got B-rolls of the bus. But at the same time, so I'm walking to Jake with the bottle in my hand. And I'm like, entrance shot, being loud and obnoxious as fuck. And then... The people behind us, which was like Gianna, like they were, the whole crowd was back there. They just start looking at me like, nah, 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 nah. Dude, I turn around and there's a fucking cop coming. Like, And you know what? I think the cop was trying to catch me like on the other side. Because I stopped right in front of the party bus. No, that's not the one that I was talking about. Oh, there's that's two. That's the oh, second two. cop. So the first cop, I was like, and I'm like, Gianna, Gianna, come, come, come. Because Gianna was 21. So we got the bottle and we put it inside of the AMG. And I like put it like on Jake's like legs. And so I was like. Oh, by the way, it's a bottle of Capri Sun. Oh, a bottle of Capri Sun. Sorry. Everybody. So I put it like in his legs and then Gianna kind of ran to the car and then like, Jake, did you drive away? No, no, no. I stayed there. No, you. Oh my gosh. You gave me the I bottle. remember. So I give him the bottle and the cop ends up like reversing right in front of the party bus. So he didn't make it around to where Jake was at, but he could see us. But I think he was like, oh, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this crowd. So what he did is he just reversed it and went back around. So I was like, whoo. Two minutes passed Safe. by. Literally two minutes passed by. Max. Another cop. No, no, it wasn't two minutes. So what happened is that Jake went and brought the AMG back to the house, right? And keep in mind, the bottle is still inside of the car. So he parks the car in the garage, shuts the garage, has the bottle, and came to check on Rango and all that stuff, right? So Jake and Rango, right? Rango's like shortly behind him, are rocking back to go to the party bus. And this was maybe like 10 minutes. These assholes took so long. So it was I'm like sorry. 10 minutes, okay? Goes by and we're over there waiting for them, Bert, literally sweating our like makeup off. And Jacob comes with the bottle and he's like running and a cop pulls up from the same Bro. direction. And it was a different cop. And he's time. staring at me. So I'm the cop's going this way and I'm walking this way. So he's in the street and I'm walking down. No, and no, he's missing more. Babe. What? <laughs> so... The cop is coming, but Jake can't see him because Jake is on the other side. So there's like a loop. So we're all like, turn around, turn around. Because we didn't want to scream it because the cop had his windows down. So then everyone's like, turn around, oh, yeah. turn around, turn around. <laughs> and Jake's not, Jake's like, huh? Huh? And dude, like the cop is getting closer to the turn. So he's going to see him with this fat ass bottle. So we're like, <laughs> run. Like that's all, like that was the last thing in my mind where I was like, dude, I need to scream run. Because if not, he's not going to like, Jake is like pretty slow. I was like, he's not going to understand what I'm trying to tell him. So I just said run, which wasn't the best and smartest thing because the cop obviously hears run 
and see someone running and what are you going to think? I'm a chase ass for this motherfucker. So, but I didn't know what else to do because I was trying to signal to him and he wasn't catching on to what I was saying. So I just screamed, run. And so Jake grabs I the I run bottle. inside the house, bro. I'm running, I'm running like back forward like this. I go inside the house and I camp there for like three minutes for the enemy to be gone. Bro, mm-hmm. three minutes, four minutes go by. I go out and all I see is as the cars, uh, the cops in the street walking, um, driving this way. I'm walking over a car. So he can't even like see me, my front of my face. And he just stares at me. He's looking at me. And driving like one mile per hour now. And I'm running. I'm like, I'm looking back. I'm, I put it in my vest. And I'm like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sh- I hope he doesn't. St- I hope he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. He keeps going slow, slow, slow. And then I end up running around the house to the party bus where you guys are at. And I'm like, all right, let's get inside. So I give you the I give you the bottle. And then that's where we're we at. We put right the there. bottle inside of the party bus. Because mm-hmm. if he, if he pull, uh, pulls up, like, we don't have the bottle. Jake the did. A, yeah, it. Jake did a whole, like, circle. Like, when the cop was chasing I- him. My adrenaline was rushing because what if I got caught Dude, with I a know, bottle of Capri Sun? That's why I was like, oh my God. And I didn't know what to say for you to understand that I was trying to tell you to run. Like, I didn't know. Like, my head wasn't processing what to say. So, yeah. He puts the fucking bottle in the party bus. And the... <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to say this part. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not going to say that part. So, <laughs> some other stuff happened. <laughs> and then, anyways, we do, like, the entrance shots. But at this point, we're kind of like, Rango better, you better fucking run. Like, we're just waiting on Rango at this point. The motherfucker's still changing. Like, keep in mind, like, 20 minutes has passed. All this drama has happened, and Rango's still not out. So, um, we're like, all right, like, let's do the entry shots, and hurry up and get us out of the party, because we gotta get the hell out of here, because that's the second cop that has passed by within the past, like, I don't know, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. So, we do him real, real quick, and then Rango comes running, and he gets inside, do his shot. And we get the hell out of there because the neighbors were coming out. Oh, yeah. The neighbors were coming out. The neighbors were... I don't know what happened. I think something was going on in the area and that's why there was cops circling. Maybe. But the neighbors were coming out because they were... They saw a big ass fucking bus, right? One. And then two, a bunch of little rowdy ass kids and bottles. And I so, pull up and I rev the engine and everything. Yeah. So it was just... We were calling too much attention to ourselves, which we shouldn't have done. And... All the neighbors are coming out and like looking at us and they, they're just... You know, like the concerned tias, like they're kind of like... Like, what's going on? Yeah, like... Brewing, brewing the walls and stuff. I know, bro, they were. <laughs> and so we get in the party bus, we just headed out. We had changed our trip. We initially were supposed to go to Dutch Bros, but we changed our route to go to pick up my friends because I was like, dude, the more people, the better. So we drove to my friend's house, but... Oh no, but you're missing a, you're missing a drastic story, Natalie Cuevas. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about that, but... Okay, so we're taking, we're taking shots of Capri Sun. Like, ev- we're doing, like, three rounds of the shots of Capri Sun. So everyone at least had two to three shots of um, the Capri Sun in them. Nah, like pounding, four. Pounding. Because the bottle was like this before her friends got there, like full. And then w- when their friends got there, bro, it was like halfway if, or if anything it more. It was halfway, I think. It was halfway. Bro, tell me why that was like the funniest time I've ever had. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, viewers. I didn't want y'all to hear that. That's sorry. disgusting and inconsiderate of you, Natalie Cuevas. I couldn't hold it no more. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just partying off. Like Nelly's, Nelly's uh, bus. Our bus, like the complete opposite. We're getting lit. Dude. But my dad had warned me the day before. So my dad, it was mainly <laughs> my mom. My mom told me, she was like, you better not show up drunk. And I was like, mom, I would never. She's like, you better not show up drunk because you need to say hi to everyone. And you need to do like, you know, you look presentable. And I was like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not. I'm, and by I'm the way, like, I didn't hear any of this. You yeah, he me. wasn't there. Well, I mean, it's kind of common sense not to show up to party wasted. I didn't know we were going to do an, do an entrance. I, it's my first 15, well, me by either. the way. I didn't know till we show up and everybody's <laughs> blowing up. Hey, that's Hold up. So we drank half of a, literally, it's like a two liter Casamigos. Do bottle. we have another one or no? No, we don't. <laughs> that was the only no, one. No, we don't. Um, <laughs> it would be a problem it if we the did. the biggest bottle ever, right? We had got this for a gift. I don't know if you guys remember for my, um, for my neighbor she had gotten us this bottle for like a new home gift and so yeah we killed half of this bottle like going to pick up my friends it was which 15 is, minutes which is too much alcohol yeah it was 15 minutes and then we pick up my friends dude and they pull up with another bottle but dude. we were when we picked up my friends we were already too fucked up because i remember not being able to like really stand when i was walking to open the door for them and give them their engine shots bro i was getting lit i was doing the jenna ortega remember i was dude, that's I was how like, i knew you were gone dude i was like this literally i was like like literally, bro. Do you remember? I, know, I remember looking at Jake and being like, "This guy's so gone." <laughs> because there's no way he's doing this right now. But this was prior to even showing up to pick them up. So yeah, keep in mind how messed up he is. Prior, to, it's a 15 then, minute drive. There's a big old pole in the middle, and I grab the bottom and try to grab my legs on top. So I'm upside down and just trying to spin. I, so I grab the bottom, and when I uh, flip my legs over, I'm like this. 
Look, at, I grab the bottom, I flip over, and my legs go over my head. They're going up. They're going up, and I'm just like fall straight forward. All I feel is the slowest fall in my life. Boom. Dude, like planted like. And it felt like <laughs> it felt like a, like a, like a like a headache, like a boom, and like it's just throbbing. Like I'm moving around like yeah, this. Yeah, dude, he fell hell hard. A, y'all will see it in the video. We got it all on on the camera, bro. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like our latest vlog ever. Yeah, he fell really bad, and this again, this is prior to picking up my friend. Before, the bro, we got drive. so lit before. So we show up to my friend's house, and they pop in with the bottle, dude, and so they get their entrance shot, and it's just like. Shot, 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 shot. Like one after another. Circles one and after circles. Another. Dude, like I'm telling you, like everybody, I think everybody was like five shots in at yeah, the Yeah, nobody point. was like, but we're not me, doing nothing. But me and um me and Chewy were probably like eight shots in because me and me, Chewy and Angie, like I feel like we were yeah, taking Yeah, y'all more were shots. hogging the Capri Suns, bro. Yeah, we were back there like and then we were taking big, big ones, which I it was really irresponsible of me. But I think when we picked up my friends was when I noticed like we have to go to a party still. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. It's like, it was like, what, like a 15 minute drive to the hall. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm going to get so messed up. Like I didn't know what to do. So I'm just getting water bottles and drinking. I think I drank three mini water bottles, dude. And I'm, I've never drank that much water in my life, but I was so scared of my mom beating my ass. So I'm just taking water bottles. Jacob's out here. Hold up. Can, Can we take see? a moment to pause? No, we can't see. Hold up. Like, what is she doing? That is my question. Baby Star, what are you doing? Her tail is wiggling. Oh, my little baby. (laughs) She's so pretty, bro. I I love this dog. I love you, baby. Okay, yeah. So back to the story. Oh, Oh, shoot. We kind of kill. um, She brought a what? A Don Julio Capri Sun? Ex Capri Sun? (laughs) <laughs> the, a big bottle like this yeah and when we get to the party it's like halfway if anything and less again but the casamigos bottle is probably like and there's like this, this much, left. much left is like nothing but we're trying to sober up and i'm telling jacob like jake you need to sober up you need to sober you're up. like jake we have to there's an answer we have to do sober up drink this water drink this water drink yeah. this water i took two water bottles i'm like and like in my head i'm like i know i have to sober up but like i can't i'm like Trying to be funny, like I'm saying funny stuff, but I'm like yeah. in my head, it, deep down, I'm like, why am I acting like this, dude? And I was like, oh my god, like he's not gonna sober up, I'm not gonna sober up, like we're all fucked, and everybody's fucked up in that party bus. Like, dude, I knew we were messed up when I saw Gianna twerking. I was like, no, nah, <laughs> gone, gone. <laughs> Everybody was so messed up. So, anyways, we get to the hall. Ho- oh no, I'm getting messages. I wish. I- Let me try to see if I could read these to you guys. So I'm getting messages from Nelly, my mom, and my dad. Okay, this is what they're telling me right now. So I said, um, this is from Nelly. I think Nelly was the one that texted me first. Was it Nelly? I don't know who it was. I okay. think it was Nelly. She was blowing you up. Was it Nelly? Yeah. So Nelly sends Nelly sends me her fur the first message of the night. Okay, <laughs> the first one. There, there's many. Um, so she said, <laughs> <laughs> no way. She was angry, bro. She, oh, no, she was stressed. No, she was stressed. Nelly, she goes, Hey, how long are you going to take? 5 41 PM. And I say, almost there. Please, please do the entrance without me. And she says, no. <laughs> so Bruh. I'm like, Bruh. and keep in mind, I thought that the entrance was already done because the night before, like this girl was like, we're going to do it at four 30. So I was like, okay, cool. So she goes, no. And I'm like, fuck. Okay. One minute away. And I send her my like location and we were a minute away. Like this was at 541. Cause we got to the hall like at 545, which was the time uh-huh. I said we were going to get there. Um, so she t- tells me that. Right. And I'm just kind of like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So th- that's just Nelly. Keep in mind, this is just Nelly. And then my dad texts me, nah, what time are you going to be like the letter B? Like what time are you going to be? Right. And this <laughs> is 548. And I'm like, almost. And I send him my location. 551. Hurry, bro! You're taking so long. And I'm like, I'm here, but we were outside, and we we're like prep talking to each other, like we got to sober up, everyone, everyone, sober up, sober up, because we have to do like the entrance work right there. Yeah, so we're getting off of the party bus, and everybody's laughing, and that's how you know, bro. We show up to this, the music is off inside of the hall because I think they were like literally about to do the entrance because they had already prepped for us. They were just waiting because my parents had my location, so they knew we were down the street. Yeah. So everybody lines up. The DJ's music is fucked up, so there's no music, like it's quiet, and we get off of this party bus like, ah, we're just, high, bro. Like, ah, where's the party at? We're Dude, we, we, were, we, were, we were laughing. We were like tripping on the stairs of the party bus. Like we walk in there like 
tripping and falling and laughing and like dude i was walking in there laughing i don't know why but i was like i was just laughing i just remember laughing and that was all like everybody's laughing everybody's like smells like pure ass alcohol like it was so embarrassing and so everyone at the like because the, the way the hall was built is like it's the main doors and there's like a little like main lobby and that's where they had like the little entrance photos and like mini pancakes and then it's the hall so it's like two little separate rooms so in that little main entrance pre-lobby that's where everybody's lined up and we're just all dumb as fuck everybody's kind of like ah, ha, 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 like like literally like this like just stupid as fuck everybody's so messed up and so bro so my mom she comes up to me and i'm like fuck, fuck. so i'm like and i look at her and i'm like okay we're ready we're ready and so my dad's like how much did you have to drink he's looking at me and my dad knows damn well because my dad hella drinks so my dad knows damn well so he's like how much did you drink and i was like no not that much like i'm good i'm good let's go let's go let's go but you knew you held yourself really well though. Yeah, I know, dude. And now my head was spinning, dude. The world, everyone was like spinning, <laughs> but I was like, no, like I need to keep it together because like there's people. There were so many. There's like 150 people inside, and I was like, pe these people cannot look at me like this. So, anyways, we do the entrance, or we're about to do the entrance. Um, but and then, but since we're drinking so much, uh, our family had to use the restroom. Yeah, dude. Everyone starts to go to the restroom. The restroom was full, bro. It was full of people. <laughs> go. Um, <laughs> Joel comes in with big ass flowers, like a bouquet of a hundred something roses. Dude. <laughs> so Joel showed up with flowers to my house and I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know about any of this. I found out about the flowers because of his story. <laughs> like that, that was the way that I found out. I didn't know. Jacob knew. You do. Yeah. He told me, I was like, bro, you're so funny. I didn't know. So when I saw the flowers on his story, I was like, wait a damn minute. And people were commenting on my TikTok and stuff. And I was like, dude, no fucking way Joel's going to do this. So, yeah, he showed up to my house with the flowers. I we forgot to mention this part. And I was like, dude, no way. He's like, yeah, I'm going to give them to her. Da, 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 da. You guys know how Joel is. Joel don't care. Joel was bold, bro. Dude, and Joel was really messed up. Like, I think Joel was one of the more messed up people. Yeah. So, because he had took some. Good some Capri Sun, Capri Sun, Capri Sun. He had took some good, big ass gulps of the capri sun so he was really messed up i think he was one of the more messed up ones like one yeah. of the main messed up ones so they had gone to the restroom there was a little bit of tension there uh between some people there's a little bit of tension um and joel did cause this tension okay joel it was your fault i'm not even gonna sit here and defend your ass um <laughs> joel you're wild for this dude bro. he's so funny but he was messed up so joel said some things Joel, oh. hey, Joel didn't learn his lesson after getting jumped. Nah, bro. he didn't. Joel, oh. Joel said, I could take another meeting. Yeah, he wanted to take another meeting. So Joel was a little messed up. So he was being a little bold, saying a little sum sum. <laughs> and um, so that tension kind of, well, I didn't really know that this was happening until he told me later um, about that tension that had happened. And I hadn't really talked to Nelly, so I didn't know what Nelly was feeling at that time. Um, Why are you crying? She has to go outside. Mom? It's okay. It's okay, mama. Why are you crying um so i didn't know that there was like that was going on right so we do the entrance after all this stuff had happened in the restroom that i'm not gonna get too much in detail but yeah there was some tension that happened in there and i don't know where joel put the flowers oh he took no, them he, to the table he didn't give them to her yet no i know but he took them to the table because uh -huh. they had gone to go sit down and reserve our table while we did the entrance and so we do the entrance right and then um edward's name was pronounced wrong edward's <laughs> name was eduardo and then pauses mic the thing cut off so they pronounce pauses pause um the they DJ's, didn't even say his first name they said pause it was pause and so but it's okay i don't think no one really caught on to it because everybody still cheered um and that was good like the entrance was really good i liked it it was cool mama i think she just wants water you want to give her some yeah, water real quick i'll keep talking to them so um yeah we did the entrance and that was like fine like it, it ended up being fine and we show up to the table and joel had like the flowers next to him right there and i was like joel are you actually give them to her and he was like yeah i'm gonna give them to her right now and keep it joel still messed up um so i was like but do it after all the dances so this is where the mother or the dad and the waltz happened um they did the little entrance what happened yeah so they the little waltz thing happened and then my dad did the dance with nelly and then my mom did the dance with nelly but when it was my mom's turn the music wasn't working so dude that was the craziest part yeah and you know i didn't really notice what was going on because i was so messed up but I realized when Nelly started crying because Nelly and my mom went up there 
and they were just standing there and it was quiet. Like the salon was so, so but I didn't quiet. even notice anything, bro. That's what I was telling them right now that yeah. I feel like it was more in, I think because they were the, like it was my mom and Nelly and obviously Nelly was the one. Was she whining because she wanted water? Yeah, she just drank You're water. That's literally it. a baby. <laughs> and then she goes back on the couch. She's a baby. Okay, so yeah. So the honestly, I thought it was like an emotional, like, I love you. Like they're quiet. They're talking to each other. I like, I love you. Thank you for doing everything. Yeah, for but that's not what it was. So now I think they were standing there for like a minute max. Max. But imagine in her eyes how long that minute felt. Yeah. Waiting for the music. So they were standing in the middle, right? And they were hugging. And then the music doesn't play and it doesn't play. And all, all I see is like Nelly's face, like, and then like tears. <laughs> yeah. Coming. And then she started crying. Nelly and started then the, crying. And then uh, your mom like grabs her like, like, like stop crying. <laughs> uh, tuck it, tuck it yeah, in. Bro. <laughs> yeah. And so then they start dancing. And then um, I think my mom told Nelly to stop crying. I think when you're in that moment, you're just so stressed out. You want things to work out the way that they should work out, but it doesn't work that way. You know, like yeah. technical difficulties do happen. And I, again, it's because it was their moment and their event. I feel like that's why they thought everyone saw it the way they did. Mm -hmm. But I promise you half the people didn't even notice. Dude, I didn't notice until she started crying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you play it off, nobody will notice. I feel like it, but they were just so stressed out and they really did think that every, you know, everyone was like looking and judging at them. But anyways, music does start and then they start dancing and Nelly was still crying. Nelly was still crying, I remember. So also another thing that happened is that Nelly's camera wasn't set up. So Nelly did the entrance and she didn't get it and on the camera. she wasn't recording for her video. Yeah. And then when I noticed that, I ran up to the um to little thing because she had it like at her main table. I ran up and I brought her camera and I set it up for the mother daughter Oh, uh, you're so nice for that, bro. So she did get it on camera, I think, where they're just standing there. I think she has it on camera. But I, I set the recording for Nelly um, where she's like dancing or whatever with her my mom. And want to know something that I caught? What? Okay, so I caught that, like, when they're dancing together, I'm, like, away from now. I'm on the other side of the venue, and that's on this side. Mm -hmm. So I'm recording, and all I see is Nat, like, like, <laughs> like, the first one to clap after it's done. She's just, like, <laughs> like, uh, the happy sister, the happy mom, the, <laughs> not clap. You know, the, yeah. you were doing that clap, and I, it, like, got, like, I got, like, the help, the heartwarming feeling, like, oh, that's so cute. Dude, because Nelly was going I got emotional. It. And they were both, I feel like they both thought it was so bad, but I was like, no, like, y'all did that, you know? Hey. I, was, I was, I was kind of messed up. But other than that, <laughs> like, they did a really good job. And I remember telling Nelly, like, smile, smile, because she was crying. And I remember, like, going, like, Nelly, hello, like, smile, because people were recording, people were taking photos, like, this was going on Instagram. Like, I, wa I didn't want Nelly to have that moment. Ruined. Just yeah. for like a little bit yeah. of like I was like, no, like smile, like it's fine. So yeah, anyways, that happens. And then I think, the, I don't know which one went for his mom or dad. No, it was mom and then yep. it was dad, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So they do that and then everything goes back to, <coughs> I think they do their, their waltz and then um, it was dancing. So they took us all out to dance. Yeah, they grabbed us one by one. And we had like little, what is it, sparklers or like glitter. Like confetti thingies and we're like. Drum. We go in the middle, just start dancing, just throwing Dude, confetti. keep in mind, like. So the dance instructor had told us to do the confetti, but then bring our whole table with us. Everybody in our table is messed up. So keep in mind, like Nelly's having a bad day, right? But everyone in my table is so messed up that everyone is so fucking lit. They that don't after, care, bro. That after that moment, I feel like Nelly's day got brighter. Yeah. After that moment, like when she, we all went up to dance with her, and like the whole crew came and everyone's having so much fun. Like, I feel like Nelly's mood really did change. I, I seen really that happy. you could tell by her face. Yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like she got happy. She was like, oh, like it was good vibes towards her. And I feel like that really made her happy. So yeah, we all like all the drunkies go up there and just start dancing dancing shaking dude. ass like you know. just dancing and it was really good it was a good time for her um so yeah that happens and then it's time for the flowers yeah bro okay so i wasn't there i was there yeah i wasn't there so i was telling joel because he had to like cool it off like he was acting a little too bold so i told him i was like hey bro just chill out a little bit longer uh in like 30 minutes 40 minutes after her dance is done then you can go give them to her yeah because i think that that could have gone Worse. Worse if Joel was still really messed up when he gave her the flowers. Mm -hmm. So I'm very glad that you told him to sober up because I didn't know what had happened at the restroom. But um, Yeah, there's an altercation at the restroom. <laughs> but I didn't know that that had happened. So I'm really glad that you did tell him to sober up. But I had told him, I was like, Joel, give it to her now because it was after the dances. And it, once Nelly started to do like the cake and like all that stuff, he wasn't going to have a time anymore. So mm. I was like, do it now. So I remember I took Nelly outside what? and the videographer took Joel. I'm waiting for his video because I want to see what happened. Dude, Bro. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna be shook. So I take Nelly out, and then Nelly was mad. Like, okay, so when I go to grab Nelly, and I'm like, come with me, but Nelly had already seen Joel pass with the flowers. So they mm. went outside. Oh, shoot. 
and I go and I grab Nelly and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, um, someone has a gift for you. But Nelly knew damn fucking well who it was. She had just seen Joelle. And Nelly was like, bruh. Like, that was Nelly's reaction. Like, she was bruh. like, come on, man. Yeah, like, bruh, you know? And so um, it's so funny because Joelle and Nelly don't even follow each other. <laughs> they don't? That's the funniest fucking part. So then we take Nelly out. I was like, okay, just come with me. Like, the man already has the fucking flowers. Like, you got to do what you got. Go receive them. Throw them away after, but go receive them. So I took Nelly out, and then Joel gives her, and he goes, I got these for you. It's so awkward. You know how Joel is awkward. Oh, it was awkward? It was so awkward. No. And he, he gives her the flowers, and then he says, like, at the end, like, after he gives Some her the stupid flowers. stupid stuff. Yes, dude. What did I he say? I wonder if he's going to put that in the video. I think he is. What does he say? Joel, you got to put it in now, because I'm going to expose it. So he gives her the flowers, and he goes, like, um. <laughs> yeah, I got these for you, and she goes, "Oh, thanks." And then everyone inside of the hall is like, "Oh, I like, seen that!" Dude, like everyone. a whole bunch of girls, like, "Oh, dude, yes." And like that did not help the situation. <laughs> so then that happened, and I was like, Fuck. "So I look inside, I'm like, Fuck. and then he goes, "Um, I, I might word this wrong, but it was something along these lines." It I'll was, let you know if it's what I heard, like what I heard from someone else. Okay, it was, um. Tell him it's too much for him to handle or tell him it's too much. Or tell him that you're too much for him or something like that. And then I heard, I'll give it two months. Yeah, he said that too. Something like that. I'll give him two months. But no, I think that that was at a different time. Yeah, but I told him like, if he would have waited longer, none of that would even happen, bro. Yeah, I think, I don't know the timing of that, but what I, dude, I was so fucked up too that I'm trying to remember exactly what was said. But I think it was something along the, you're too much for him or you're, you're too much for him to handle or some shit like that. But in the beginning, when he told me about the video, like he was going to film this video, his intentions were to like egg you guys on, like I'll give you guys the most out of that whole situation. Because bro, obviously you guys are, were, what's it called? Shipping them too. And like, oh my gosh, Joel and Ellie, Joel and Ellie. You guys have this whole huge fantasy. So he was like, yeah, I'm going to take advantage and give her flowers on her, on her magical day, you know? Yeah. So that's just his intentions. Like, but that he was took the character. Joel. That was sober, that Joel. Was sober Joel. But he took it out of him when he started getting sober. I mean, when he started taking Capri Suns, he got like too much into character, you know? Yeah, I think that he really wanted to make his video really good. Um, Dude, but, which, but. which I hope it comes out to be a good video. By the way, yeah. the next day, you just see him posted with a girl. Bro, that shit was And so I was like, this guy's so dumb. Joel's funny, but you guys know, if you guys didn't see the podcast with Joel, then I. He, yeah. So right now, he's just like. Whatever conflict you guys think that there is between ne him, Nelly, and Joel, like or whatever, That's not real. it's not real. He's just doing it for the internet because he's like a troll. Joel's just nine. like freaking annoying. He's like, the <laughs> <laughs> It's not even that he's a troll. Like Joel's just like having so much fun right now. I feel like Joel's <laughs> living his life to the. But you guys know this. He said this on the podcast. So if you have, if you, I know. I feel like I know it's it's a it's a whole game, but it's still in, like interesting for me to watch. I know me too. It's funny as fuck, mm -hmm. but. I think that you guys, like, I was seeing so many TikToks of it blow up after the whole thing had happened. Um, of people being like, oh, my gosh, you guys see their story? But wait, but look at this. But blah, blah, blah. You guys are, like, instigating Dude, it, bro. I promise you, do not read was, that much into it. It was not that deep. He it got her flowers. Not. She got them. Right now, they're just in her room. That's it. That, I swear that's, that's it. That's it. Like, please. Like, I know that a lot of people want it to be something more than what it is, but it's really not. I it's also not. saw, like, a lot of comments being like, um, Nelly barely turned 15 and Joel's about to turn 18. It's not like that. Bro, Joel it's just, just a game. Joel just turned 17. Uh -huh. Like, he turned 17 a month ago. Nelly just turned 15. They're two years apart. Like, it's not... Like, when Joel turns 18, Nelly's turning 16. Like, they're... You know Joel's a junior, Nelly's a freshman. There you go. That's that's the... I difference. guess that's the easiest way for you to put it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You're so smart, babe. I want to be you. Thank You're done. You. <laughs> um, but yeah, that whole thing that had happened, Um, I... Don't quote me on that, but it was something along those lines. You guys will see it in the video. I'm sure Joel will put it in the video. Um, but I remember being like, and I just kind of like turned around. I was like, bro, no fucking way. Because I was like fucked up, but like I kind of knew what was going on. So I was like, oh, like that's not good. And I remember Nelly walking in. So the next thing I remember, you went into the fitting room with Nelly. You were already in the fitting room with Nelly. Yeah, and then. They were changing for the surprise dance or they were changing after the surprise. Uh, something, vice versa. Something along those lines, but they were changing into some type of clothes. I don't know what clothes it was. But she wasn't actually changing. She was just upset. She was hiding in the fitting hiding, room. Hiding. Just hiding in the fitting room. Okay. So when I went, she was changing. So you went in before me. I went in before okay, she was changing. Okay. So tell me what happened in that. In okay. So like raw, like everything. No, 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 not raw. Filtered. Filtered. Okay. Filtered. I got you with the filtered little thing. 
Okay, so she was just upset because everything that happened outside and people inside that saw it. That's the why the, why she was oh, upset. Oh, I see. And she was also upset because he played too much into the character and said some out of pocket stuff. He was like, like disrespectful stuff. Yeah, I would yeah. say it was, it was just disrespectful. It was disrespectful, yeah. And uh, I was, I heard this. I was like, oh, no way. I, I was telling him like it's a joke. He's just playing around and he's just a little tipsy right now from the Capri Suns because I guess the Capri Suns had like one percent of, you know. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I heard. I heard, he, he just said that. And I talked to him and I was like, uh, just chill, whatever. And uh, yeah, from there, Dude, he was he cool. Was but he was really messed up, like so messed up. He got a little lit. Dude. But yeah, that's all that happened in the changing room. She was just upset because of uh, the scene that she that he caused. Yeah, that's what it was. That's uh-huh. what I, how I would say it, the scene. I think Nelly was, well, Nelly was also sober. So she saw things through a different magnifying glass mm-hmm. than he saw them through. Because when you're on the um, lit side and when you're not on the lit side, two different worlds. Completely different. So he saw it through a funny side and she saw it through a you're being a dumbass side. But in reality, all he did was give her flowers. That's that was it. it. That was it. Like, it was never that serious. I, I even, okay, so now let me say the conversation that I had with Nelly. So... That happened, right? And then I was... Honestly, I was just trying to fucking have fun and record. So I go back to the table. I leave the camera or whatever. I think I walked back with Joel. I don't remember. And I go to the fitting room because I'm looking for Nelly, right? I'm like, where's Nelly? Where's Nelly? So I go into the fitting room and Nelly's changing. So I go in there and she's like really teary-eyed. And I was like, why are you upset? And I remember her saying... Basically, a summed-up version was like, um, I don't know why certain things were done and said and i had told her i remember being like you are so pretty dude like you're so pretty and you're so young and right now you're in that era where you should have the most most fun fun ever like i think that you are in a beautiful era right now and i think that if a man gave you flowers whether it be because he does care about you whether he doesn't care about you i don't care if a shit what the occasion is you're in such a beautiful era take the flowers water them have so much fun like girl take your flowers like they're flowers at the end of the day like they're giving you something and take photos with them have fun with them because you are single you are young like you're so pretty like really enjoy this part of your life like you really enjoy it there's no reason to be mad there's no reason to be sad you were given a gift take it run with it go have fun go shake ass like there's no reason to be sad like i remember just really wanting her to understand that it's never that serious and to not read too much into things because she's so young that i didn't want her feeling like she needed to be a certain way yeah she's too that's young. the worst thing that's the that's the the worst thing to put it onto someone that's so young yes, you know she's so and she's single so i was like until something changes live your life and if somebody wants to change that status of yours then they like, will then they'll they take will. the initiative but yeah and i had told her and i was like dude like have fun like all he did was give you flowers and nelly knew i was like girl you know he's playing like you know that he's this is all a joke to him this is all funny like you laugh too like take photos laugh with it like it's all a joke it's all a game like have fun because these times will never get back your 15 is one day you'll never get it back so after i had had that conversation with her she did she was like she, she brightened better. up and she, she was did. like she opened her eyes more you know yeah she brightened up a picture. lot yeah and i was like like let's go have fun like let's go dance like there's no reason to be sad so yeah when i that whole conversation happened i just wanted her to take the message that She's so young and to really live every single moment. Like there's no need to be upset over like somebody getting you flowers. You know what I yeah. mean? Like I just felt like, like you got flowers. Mm-hmm. So go get flowers from the next guy. Like there's no <laughs> reason to be sad. So she did. She did cheer up. Thankfully that yeah. did work. She cheered up. She changed. And then we went to go dance and we truly did dance we, all night. And we had a great, great night. I, that was the yeah. best night I've had in so long yeah, since your party. Yeah. Since your party, dude, that was so fun. It was so 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 fun it was just not that deep to where she thought it was you know what she made it to be it wasn't that serious so i don't Mm -mm. think it was enough to ruin her and i'm really glad that you had that conversation with her because what if her night was like ruined all just because of the flowers you know yeah it wasn't something to be ruined about it was something nice that um there was no reason for anything to go she, out of She got to pop out. Pop and out you saw season. that she posted the photos or somebody posted the photos later on? Yeah, her that's friend how posted I knew, it. That's how I knew that she felt better. Because mm-hmm. that's what I had told her. Because if she like, didn't, then she wouldn't have posed with yeah. the pictures and mm-hmm. like She that. wouldn't have. But she took pictures with yeah. the Ramo and stuff. And I was like, okay. Dude, the yeah. Ramo was so good. Whoever did it for Joel, you popped off. Mm-hmm. Good job. That was a good Ramo, bro. Mm-hmm. Dang. Hey, good. And Ramos aren't cheap. 
That's what he told me. He's like, hey, Jake spent a bag on you. And I was like, I know. <laughs> um, yeah. They're, they're like 250 a rose. Oh my gosh. And then, yeah, Joel did pop out with the girl like a day later. That's what I was trying to tell her. It's never that serious. Yeah, it's never serious. Like, And he knows it wasn't serious. Joel single having fun too. Yeah. So that's why I told her. I was like, okay, so the day after, sorry to cut everything off, but, or do you want to finish off the night and then we can talk about that after? That was pretty much the night. Yeah. So we basically we're just like, drinking. we got home. We went, yeah, we ended up taking the party bus home. I had to pay an extra hour, which was $200 because now I was still getting lit. So I, I was, was like, nobody was dragging me out of that party. <laughs> she, was still, she, just, she was still the life of the party, you know? And then I t- paid $200 for the extra hour. Then the hour comes, bro, the hour came in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't remember. We go home, get canes. She's asleep the whole time upstairs. Yeah, I, I'm dude, getting the bed arranged for all the guests. Dude, so I don't remember coming back at all. Like, the last thing I remember is taking my makeup off. Yeah, you were like... I was taking my makeup off at the house. I don't remember getting to the house. I don't remember walking into my own house. None of that. And I remember taking my makeup off because the skincare is not doing itself. I remember taking my makeup off, and that's the last thing. And the next thing, dude, I wake up in the next morning, and I just had my eyes closed. But I was awake. I had my eyes closed, and my head is just spinning. No and way. I regretted my entire life decisions and I'm never drinking again. Dude, that was that a lie. That happen? was a lie. But yeah, mine dude. wasn't. Oh my gosh. I was like, please, like, I'll never do it. Dude, I was literally praying, like, I'll never do it again. Please take this <laughs> sickness away. Dude, I was so fucked. And I was like, please, please. So I went to sleep for another two hours and I woke up a little bit better. But oh my gosh. So miserable. Dude, I'm so happy. I like when Nat drinks uh like stuff because she gets so like it's Nat, and then there's, like, Nat. Like, Nat just turns into a whole different person. You're just, like, smooth, you know, like, just like come on, let's go. You're, like, that type of person. You're I, a really cool person. I you're. just, like, I don't like alcohol because of what it does to your body. Like, I feel like you're, dude, I'm still trying to recover from that alcohol. Like, you, you bloated, your skin goes to shit, you feel like shit. Alcohol is so bad for your body. But I love the fun you have. When, when it's an appropriate time to drink it. Yeah, that's a smart way to say it. It's a good I, way. I think that there has to be a really good balance with alcohol because the high of drinking is so high that it's like, oh my gosh, I want to do this again. But I think that that's why a lot of people do become alcoholics because you need to have a really good like, hey, yeah, I'm not going to drink. into that hole. Yeah, I'm not going to drink until there's a certain event that I want to drink at. I think we're pretty that's good. That's what like, we do. Only at events is like the time we, we have We hadn't drank since your party. Yeah, you're right. So, and then before that, we hadn't drank. Till my party. Two months. And then from that was like, what, six months or something? It was my party. So whatever it was. Yeah, so the next time plus. will be one of our family members' party. I'm excited but, though, but I'm not, it's not like I'm looking forward to it, but like I'm waiting for that day again, you know? It's just like a rush of like fun. I feel like we don't have a lot of that because we don't go out. Yeah, I agree. So I feel like whenever we do, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's like you feel free. Like you don't remember about your mortgage, your bills, and it's like a free moment. Mm-hmm. But that, yeah. that like wrapped up the entire, entire drama, bro. There was so much. There was so much from that the we day before say. to the actual day, and there was so much we couldn't say. Yeah, yeah, but. we cut out a lot. Like this was really, really filtered. Um, but yeah, so next day, what well, was just like a recalentado? Yeah, it was a yeah, recalentado. pretty much. The Angie, Angie, and Chewy left early the next dude, that day. That was so sad. I, I miss know. Them. I wish I they would have stayed them. the whole day, but they, sadie, dude, sadie, they're they the couldn't. best people. I feel like we vibe with them so good. I've said this before. But I truly do mean this. I think that we, those are my favorite people that we have ever met. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because you love them, bro. You're It's because Angie's hilarious and Chewy is hype, man. Yeah. We were missing Kiara. Kiara, if you're watching I this, know. I'm sorry you couldn't go, man. I know, I'm so sad. It would have been so much more fun if she came with And you also gave Angie a, um, a Louis Vuitton purse and Kiara. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys remember how in um, my dad video that i had done with him we bought an extra two louis bags so they were actually for angie and kiara because their birthdays just passed so that's it was for them <laughs> angie's was pink it was the prettiest bag bro because yeah, it was like angie's favorite color is pink so she got the pink bag you know yeah and i just i really really like them like dude they're such cool people like oh i, I really i feel really like they like make them. your serotonin levels just skyrocket they match bro. my energy and they match they your don't energy make me feel like i am loud and obnoxious they make me feel like it's a norm to be loud yeah and a lot of people don't do that a lot of people are like you know come tone it down or sorry, they don't match sorry. my energy or no but you i match your energy but your do. but your your tone your tone is different than mine i think i'm a little i'm a tier higher than yours and i feel like angie's like three on top of me so it's like perfect <laughs> yeah it's so perfect um, but yeah, that that was the whole quince stuff. That was good story time. Yeah. So this um vlog will be out tomorrow on our channel and on Nelly's. It should be out today for you guys. Um, go look for it. But if not, it should be out tomorrow too. Ours will be up tomorrow, Friday. 
Be ready for it. Um, be ready, dude. Do not miss this vlog. It's going to be the yeah. greatest vlog on our channel, hopefully. Yeah, please do not miss it. It's going to be so, so good. Dude. You will see, like, you could play this video underneath the video, underneath the, the vlog, and you're like, oh, this did happen. This happened. This oh, happened. Oh, I love that. Right? I love that they get the backstory on the podcast, and then they and get, then the, they get the real story. Oh, that's they get, amazing. They get the subtitles right here, and then they get the movie. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. So cool. Yeah, so when you guys see the vlog, you're going to see everything we talked about in this podcast, but it's going to be a more, like, fun version of it. But what we told you guys was the stress scene, like, all that stuff, but it was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. I'm glad I spent it with you. Me too. It was so, <laughs> so, 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 so fun. Well, hopefully, um, Ellie's surgery. We'll keep you guys updated on our Instagram, so follow our Instagrams. Yeah, make Jacob sure. underscore Natalie Cuevas, and we'll keep you guys updated on the girls. Uh, on their spade. surgery yeah i'll yeah, keep you guys posted from the moment we take them in to like how they're doing updates and stuff like that i'll keep you guys posted on everything for sure all and right that's gonna wrap today's podcast Let's wrap up. it up thank you guys so much for watching today's podcast we hope you enjoyed this drama story time we are gonna see you guys next week for a mini so do you have a mini so coming next week that i'm super ow <laughs> that i'm super excited about um but thank you guys so much for tuning in for this one this was a great episode best host and worst host here signing out, out. Oh, shaking out. Check it out. Oh, checking out. Checking out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>